family, what's good? Welcome back. Another episode of the Smoke Cask and Barrel. As of course, I am your guy, Daryl. I'm your guy, Randy. Glad to be back. Uh, what, what? Yeah, been a minute. We had some things going on, some good things. Uh, shouts out to everybody. We had an uh, impromptu sip and smoke uh, here Sunday. at Cosmos this Actually, past that's Sunday. What we last Sunday. Calling that. Sip yeah, and sip and smoke. Sunday. Sip and smoke Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. So, shouts out to everybody who came out and, and hung out with us. Uh, hey, we gave away some some great bottles. We gave away, uh, let's see, some Blanton's. We gave away some Colonel Taylor. Gave away here in McKenna 10 year. And, uh, and as our rule is, we gave away a bunch of samples. We gave away a bunch of samples. I, we, uh, we, yeah, we drank, uh, I mean. Whistle Pig, Piggy Bag. Whistle Pig, Piggy Bag. Yeah, Yellowstone Store Picks. We had some, uh, we cracked all the stuff that we had, y'all. We had some Colonel, Colonel Taylor. Yeah, Taylor, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was a good time. So shouts to everybody that did, came out, supported us. That was dope. I'm telling you now. It's going to become a once a month thing, so you're going to have to get in where you fit in. Exactly. And it's going to be open. It's going to be an invite only, going to members only. I mean, because we're, we're bring, I mean, we had some great samples on some great bottles. So, I mean, it wasn't like we just, again, this is about the lifestyle. So, we're trying to do our part to bring that, to make sure you can be a part of the experience. And maybe it's something that you've been wanting to buy. Like I said, uh, we had some rare bottles, you know, for right. us in our region, Blanton's and uh, Colonel Taylor, Henry McKenna. Those are bottles that you're just not going to find a lot around this region. And those right. are big bottles uh, for we us. Had to shout out Sweat for that Hugh Hamer. Big shout. That was, shout. Delicious that was right very there. good. Yeah. Shouts out Ron Sweat. Much love. Um, yeah, that was that was really good. Hugh yeah, Hamer. That one went over really nice. And um, that's from West Fort Whiskey. We did an episode talking with uh, their rep. And uh, Kim, hey, Kim, Kim, what up? Um, that was huge. I mean, that Hugh Hammer, they got that was. A, oh my God, that was fantastic. I've been looking for another one, so I'm gonna try to find another one. Um, but uh, yeah, big shouts out to our sponsors. Of course, we want to recognize them. Community Spirits came through with a lot of that. So we got a lot of those bottles from. Then of course, we did the sip and smoke, repping our brother Prime Three Five Seven. Shouts out to Dwayne Jarrett. It was just a good time, man. Good vibes. Yeah. Good time. Uh, tonight, let's go and get into it. We got a special bottle for you. We're going to go ahead and uh, let me see here. How are we going to bring this up? Let me get this going here. Let's see how we get it going. All right, there we go. We got the uh, Stranahan's Blue Peak. This is a single malt whiskey, uh, limited edition run. You see there in the camera, uh, this particular whiskey is a finished whiskey. Uh, in their solar cask, in a solar cask. Um, it says it's going to be a limited run. I don't know how much that is uh, true or how real that is, but like I said, I mean, anymore, a lot of... Uh, limited runs. Yeah. In actual production. In being actual production, they'll tell you all day long that something's going to be a limited run, and it turns out it ain't. Um, so this is just something we wanted to bring. I think this one right now, of course, we shout out Community Spirits. You can pick this up at Community Spirits or anywhere. This is going to be about a $40, $40 bottle. And uh, we already got ours poured up, of course. So I'm going to let Randy talk a little bit, see what he think about it, give us some notes or whatever this the case is. This is actually my first time trying this. And it really puts you in the mood or the mode of, like, the Basil Hayden rye or... The Angel's Envy Rye or whatever, it's, it's got a, like a really sweet, creamy finish to it. And it's not like, there's no heat or anything to it. So. That's a good comparison. I like the Angel's Envy Rye, what you said with that. I yeah. think that's... It's that's, not that's, as sweet not as, as the sweet. Angel's yeah. Envy, but yeah, it's it's there. It's a little, and it, it's dialed back. It's only 85 proof. Um, let me see. I think it's just a traditional uh, mash bill on this. It's not too crazy. Give me, let me see here. Um, yeah, new oak barrels. Uh, they said like a level three char on them. But uh, for me, um, it's like it's got a lot of sweetness. The nose on it is actually pretty pleasant. Actually, if you like sherry wine, you would dig this as a bourbon. Yeah, so that, I mean, it's, it's got that taste. To it's it, got that so. taste to it. The notes on it just the same way too. It's not over the top. No, nah, definitely, and it's a good sipper. Definitely yeah, good. good. Sipper. And we were just talking about this before we even got started with this. You know. 
one thing about uh, getting to the bourbons and everything is finding a good daily sipper, something that you can just go to. You know, we start, you know, and we put some pretty big bottles on these episodes. We've talked about it on our, our show. Um, but, you know, I like to consider those weekend bottles, maybe. Yeah. I don't say special occasion bottles because, I there mean, for no me, every thing. day is no such thing yeah. as a special occasion bottle. I got my up opinion. out of bed was a special occasion. Yeah, a special occasion. I woke up. So, um, but, you know, I call them weekend bottles. You know, it's kind of the bottles you get to the end of the week and, um, you know, you want them solid pours. You know, those are you start getting into some of those bottles like that. Um, this, for you know, for the price point is set to be kind of that daily sipper. Uh, if you just want to come in and get you one after a long day at work or whatever through the See, week, they ain't going to hit you too we hard. we just talking about, though. So the budget bottles for us have become that $40 price point. Yeah. And you can find some great. Yeah. See, that's apple sweet oak. I get some nice little back end, some good barrel tenders on the char, uh, char from it. Uh, a lot of honey rolling off. Of yeah. Yeah, a lot of honey rolling off of it. It's not, like I said, it's not going to hurt you. And I'm not going to BS you with a bunch of notes and stuff because I'll tell you, half of these vloggers, these whiskey vloggers and stuff, man. Because, <laughs> oh, I'm getting, you know, hey, and I think of like summer and tea notes leaves. like it's a musical. And it's, yeah, hey, come on, bro. Like, come on, stop it. Stop it. Um, but for me, I like it. Um, like I said, 80, 85 proof. Um, it's not going to, it ain't going to hurt. I like it. I mean, yeah. What you smoking on, man? What you putting it's this with? Well, Cincia Reserve. It's the original. It's oh. actually this is my first time smoking this as well. So, but they pair very well. It's a little milder than what I like, but it's a nice cigar. And I actually didn't go and research and do look at any of the literature. So, if you want to find out about it, you're gonna have to actually go online and Google. Yeah, Placencia. I mean, uh, if y'all have been following us for a minute, you've been in attendance to some of the events, and we've been hanging out. Placencia has <laughs> been our go-to. <laughs> <laughs> we've been we've been tearing Placencia down. He's got the reserve of the original, which I think now is the 146. Um, and they've got the was it the uh, Fuego, which is a red and light white label, kind of sits in between from the 146. You got the Fuego, which is next to red and white label, and then of course. I'm a forte though. Uh -huh. that's, that's, hey, that's the joint. That's the joint. That's the joint. And then you get to the black and gold, which is the one I'm always on, the Alma Fuerte. I'm, I pound that. I'm smoking, actually, this cigar was Cigar of the Year, uh, I want to say in 19, not in 20. 19. Yeah, I believe it was 19. This is the Aging Room. That's what I thought uh, was smoking. Yeah, the Aging Room. Uh, Nicaraguan. Just a good smoke. Very peppery. A lot of uh, just dark, I got, I got heavy chewy notes. Smoking full bite with this is actually going pretty well. It's actually bringing out some sweet, more sweetness in this particular whiskey for me uh, on this one. Uh, the cigar itself is, like I said, this is one, if I get a chance to get some, I always want to get them. They're always good. Uh, this is their, they come in the torpedo size. Shouts out again, Dwayne Jerry, Prime 357. Thank you, brother. Um, got some of those, yeah. So, you know, this is a good pairing. Um, so, let me see, 40 bucks. Finished whiskey, a single malt whiskey from Stranded Hands, their Blue Peak. They say it's limited edition, limited run, we'll see, but I've been, it's been popping up actually quite a bit. Uh, Colorado whiskey, that's the thing, they're based out of Colorado. Um, and I actually found them on accident for me. So, what, what grade are you giving this? Honest grade, 40 bucks, Solar finish, Solar cast finish. It's Colorado about, whiskey. Uh, B minus for me. B minus. Yeah, but it's a sipper. So yeah. like I like my go tos for sippers are Basil Hayden and Angels in me. Okay. So that like the rise, I, I love them because they they they're not overbearing. They got a sweet side to them, and you don't want to go and shoot it. I mean, it's something you just want to sip and unwind with. So I'm at a, I'm you B minus. I'm about there. I'm about a B minus, maybe a straight B. Um, like I said, 40 bucks uh, for a $40 whiskey, a single malt, finished in the cask. I mean, it gives you enough. It ain't, like I said, it ain't gonna overwhelm you. Um, it's for one of those long, hard days of work. Yeah. You, come home. you don't wanna get totally tipsy, but you want something just to mellow you out. I said 85, it's, it's 86 proof. 86 proof, okay. Yeah, it's perfect for that. Like I said, I, I give it a flat B. B minus, yeah, I just said flat B, forty bucks. 
Um, our family, of course, the title sponsor, Community Spirits, definitely does have this. You may find this bottle at a lot of stores because it's actually been popping up quite a bit. Um, but definitely want to put on your bar. Like I said, just to have an everyday drinker. Um, it's not going to be anything, in my opinion, that's going to knock your socks off as far as trying to get in that. No. Matter of fact, I could go as far as to say this is a good beginner, good start of whiskey, getting to finish whiskeys or yeah, something like yeah, that. I'll, I'll throw that on there. Right I think right it's there. definitely one of those. So for all you to be in my inbox looking for something <laughs> that's like, hey, I don't want to go too heavy, this is perfect for you. Perfect for that. Like I said, it's got, got a lot of the characters. Now, this is not going to give you the tradition, your traditional big bourbon notes. You know no, what I mean? Definitely the not. caramels and the vanillas, the heavy no. char, cedar, you ain't going to get that. This no, you're is not definitely. not going to get the heat or anything. No. Like so, yeah. It doesn't have a hug. Like I said, it doesn't, like, it doesn't do that. Like I said, it's just a good good drinker, man. I like it. I like it a lot. As you see, I actually tried it on ice to see if it brings anything else. We got to start ice. doing that, man. We got to start putting some water up here and start seeing how some of this stuff functions when we put a yeah. drop of some, you know, spring water in there and see how it start doing with that. Because it might open it up to be a little bit smoother as well. Yeah. I mean, but yeah. you can't get it. Like, it really gives me, like, the scotch type feel to it. See, that's the nose on it for me. It's a mild scotch. Right? Yeah, it's a real, it's almost like a blended. Yeah, see, I get a lot of that, and it's got a little bit of pee, but it's got the sweetness and stuff you get with the blended scotches on the nose of it. Yeah, I like it. I'm definitely going to recommend that you get you one. Like I said, it's a solid B, but it's a daily sipper, so don't get it thinking you're going to have something to knock your socks off. Nah. I don't care what anyone's trying to tell you. It has been rated pretty highly uh, across the board from a lot of different reviewers. Uh, probably out of 10 points, it's getting an 8, 8 to 9 out of that. It's averaging that, so, I, you know, like it's I said. Still not, I would, still give, it, yeah, I would yeah. give it an 8. Eight out of ten, like I said, it's not bad at all, man. It uh, wouldn't be my daily go-to, but it would be my every other day or a long, hard day. It yeah. It would be something that I sip on. So, as we great wrap this up, but before we do, I want to ask you that real quick. Let's get into some of that real quick. Every day, we're in this lifestyle, we're doing this. What do you think, bro, about the person are having a drink every day because you know as y'all can see you know what i'm saying he he hitting the gym hard i'm trying to catch <laughs> up we hit the gym try to get ourselves keep our fitness on and stuff but where are you at with that when we talk about daily sippers and something like that where are you at with saying you know like is it every day a drinking day that you have an ounce or two or something like that or is it just yeah, something I more pretty or less much every day is a different drinking day i mean i come in i can leave the gym and two or three hours later i i want to sit down and have a shot yeah so yeah, it's like, and it doesn't like, I don't know, it's, it's counterproductive to a certain extent, but it it works, you know what I mean? Yeah. I just know I gotta get up and maybe I gotta be on the treadmill 10 mi extra minutes or whatnot, but. And I mean, for the fitness people out there, alcohol just basically slows down your metabolism. I don't really get into the sugars and stuff. If you just pound it like that and it's putting extra weight and stuff on you, then I would recommend you go, you know, get some help about that. With everything, please be responsible. But yeah, for me, every day is on moderation. Yeah, everything moderation. Everything is moderation. Like, moderation. It's just like having a diet. It's yeah. moderation. Like, you know what you can consume and you know what you can't. So and I'm, every day I'm, in a heavy day. Yeah, yeah, I ain't, I ain't, I'm not going in every day, day. day huh. trying to pound it like that. Like you said, some days, and I know for me, you know, especially with, you know, getting back on the fitness kick and everything and being back in the gym and stuff. I don't drink as often through the week as much as I do on the weekend. Now the weekends, hey, some weekends I make up for more than I do. Not touching the, the week. I get it on the weekends. <laughs> I make it up for it. But you know, um, this like I said, through the week, you know, may have one. Typically say every day may typically be one, especially when you get back from the gym, you sit for three, four hours, get your protein and everything again, try to get your body a chance to recover. Get your body. Then Go then get you ready one. for that nightcap. Yeah. And time. So this is this is a good everyday one for that one. So yeah. Most definitely. Definitely. One again, once again, want to recognize our title sponsor. Big shouts out again, Charles, the family, everybody over Community Spirits. Thank you for all that you do for us. I'm trying to tell y'all now, if you're not shopping with Community Spirits and Eagle Creek Liquors, I'm going to need you to make that move. In the Indianapolis area, I'm going to need you to make that move. We are in May. It's crazy. We're almost at the half point of this year. And we, um, we're almost there. And I'm telling you, he does a bourbon show. But... It ain't everybody. He supports his customers. He it's supports those who support him. only, them. so if it's you're right. not a valued customer, don't expect to show up. And I ain't talking about just show up and because you went and bought one bottle over the year. Spend your money, okay? Spend your money. Support the brands that support us. 
one thing we're going to do with this and getting that talking about it, we, we we talk about it a lot. But I want you to, you know, we're going to show you Charles and Community Spirits, and the name is is within itself is everything community. They do a lot of philanthropy. Synonymous with community. Yeah, man, they do a lot of philanthropy. They take care of so much. They help so many people, so many organizations. They donate to feeding families and everything. So. Just shouts out again to them. And then we want to recognize again our brother, Dwayne Jarrett, Prime 357. The sip and smoke we had a week ago was a big launch pad for him. Shouts out to everybody that came out, supported. You've seen the web address on there. Make sure you're getting with him and supporting. Now, this ain't his own cigar brand. We want to make sure we're clear on exactly. that. Exactly. This is a black owned confusion. retailer. We had that well, confusion. Yeah. Yeah. We've had that confusion to where it almost led to a fist fight. So. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that, but this is a black owned cigar retailer getting into the game. And I promise you, he's been able to get a hold of a lot of the products and things that we like to buy. And I will be so bold to say, ain't too many people, if any, really messing with his pricing. Yeah, so if we you can actually argue. get a chance, though, go and look at his website or whatever, because it's not just cigars. He's doing ashtrays, lighters, the yes. whole nine yards. So if you're really a part of this culture, you can pick up some extra things along the way. So make sure y'all do that. Before we get out, comment, like, subscribe, share, support us. It helps the channel. And I'm telling you now, you got to do that because those who came to the Sip and Smoke, when we do these events and things like this, it's for legends only. So we need you to get in there, support that. That's the way you get that invite. We got some other information coming down the pipe with that. But make sure you do that. Like, comment, subscribe on our YouTube channel. Share the video. Get your mama, sister, cousin, and all them over there. Subscribe and mess with us. We know y'all some drinkers out there. So <laughs> come and partake. Come and partake with us. <laughs> Again, big shouts out to the Cosmo Night Social Club. That's where we're sitting in. And we're grateful to them. You know, my bro, he handles all that over here. So we're glad that, you know, that they're letting us be a part of this and, and using this space. That being said, this is Daryl. I'm Randy. And thank y'all again. Love. Remember, whiskey's more than the moment. It's about the journey. It's about the journey. This has been another one. See you when we see you. Peace.